Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. In this video we will see how to backup and restore SQLite database. Let's add three different names and backup the database. I am choosing desktop directory to backup database. Opening DB browser for SQLite to modify backup database. You can see that the backup database has the same data, I have entered. Now let's delete one record from this. Save changes. Restoring modified database to replace the original database in application to see if we get two records when a refresh list button is clicked. Before we start the application, let's jump to new get packages section to install required assets. Select browse and type system.data.sqlite select the first package and install it then type dapper select the first package and install it now let's start by adding a database connection string go to app.config file open connection strings tag and close it Set a name of connection string to access it. Dot represents a current directory, which is debug folder. Demo DB is my database name. Set version to 3. And provider name to system.data.sql client. So this is a connection string for SQLite. This tutorial will not cover creating SQLite database. But, if you are interested to learn, let me know in the comment. I will bring a new tutorial for this. Let's see how to include SQLite database in a project. I have already created a database demo DB. Now we have to drop this database in our project directory, in a debug folder. You can see I have already got my database in my project directory. Now back to Visual Studio. Click show all files in a solution explorer. Expand bin folder. And debug. Here you can see database file. Right click and select include to project. I have already included this. Therefore you can see option to exclude it. Then click show all files again. To hide files back. My person model is really simple. Has an ID, first name, last name and a full name which is an auto property which is just first name and last name put together
SQLite Data Access Class. Has function to load database connection string from app.config file. A function to save person details to database. Function to get all data from database. And return a list of type person modal. Function to backup database. And to restore it. I have placed text boxes, buttons, and a list box on a form. Create person model class object. Get person details from text boxes and set to person model class properties. Call save person function of SQLite data access class and pass person model object to save person details in database. Then empty text boxes. Create list of type person model class. Call load people function and set returning person model list to person model list of this class. A function to set list box data source. Set list box data source to null. Set list of type person model to list box data source. Pick database from current directory. Folder browser dialog to choose backup folder. Combine folder path with database name. Now call backup db function and pass required parameters. Show success message. A variable to store path where a database is backupped. Use open file dialog to choose database. Project directory path where a database is to restore. Finally call a restore db function and pass parameter to restore database. And then show success message. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, I will see you in the next video.